Welcome back, everybody. Let's see if we can turn down the music a little bit. And there it is, the, the glasses that are going to carry all of it through. Now, we are getting live here with the ESL Pro League, and we have Penta and Epsilon. Best of three game. It's gone to a third map as well. So, of course, I'm here. Semler's here, and we got Vendetta here as well on the stream. So, what's up, guys? It's Mirage that's coming in next. Is, uh, are you guys excited for it? Ooh. That's an interesting map choice. I was I think, expecting. Uh, yeah, I would have expected something like Inferno. I think going off of uh, the tweet that was just put out by Penta, they're feeling pretty confident. I think that was part of the game plan that Cash was going to be a loss, but that uh, Penta are feeling pretty good about Mirage. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing if they actually came out and like said like, "Oh, it's Mirage. Sorry, guys, we're doomed. <laughs> like it's over. There's no, there's no saving <laughs> it. We can't do this anymore." Uh, well, yeah, that would be disappointing. Uh, don't don't want any kind of any kind of thing like that. I think they probably work for confident going into cash as well. I, I think it's true. I think actually Penta are pretty well prepared on cash. Just Absalon got off to that really good start. They won well, the the right critical rounds, and it's hard to deal with. I think it was mainly Absalon getting the CT start. If Penta could have picked up the CT start, yeah, probably could have. They might have been able to just run it back and close out the game 2-0. But the fact that Absalon. They get that C or they get that CT start, despite the fact that Penta pick up the first three rounds. Then Epsilon start getting some momentum, and it just goes from there, and it turns into the steamroll, right? Yeah. So maybe we could be looking at a two zero right now if Penta had that CT. But now we get to see what they have in store for us here on Mirage. If they're feeling confident about it, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Because Epsilon, I mean, Foxio can do some crazy stuff on this map. He definitely can. There's there's potential for all manner of play on uh, on Mirage. And speaking of which, we do have almost everyone on the server, so I'm going to switch it over. And I did get a tweet from James, uh, whom I've challenged with these with these here uh, swag glasses, as it were, because uh, he brought a flip night comb to the to the stream to the face it stream yesterday when uh, I buy power was playing elevate, and I thought. You know, I can I can spot a challenge when I see one. I can bring props to the stream too. So um, so 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 here they are, James. And he said he's gonna you know figure out something for tonight. So so we'll see, we'll see. But heading into the game, um, we'll obviously start off with a knife. And uh, do you think it's gonna make a difference on this one? Who starts on which side? Yeah, I think. Well, we saw how big of an impact it had on Cash. Even though Penta got off to a really good start, winning the pistol and actually picking up a pretty early fourth round. They just got shut down completely, and I'm not really sure how good of a team Epsilon are on Mirage. So I think they kind of need to start on the CT side. I think Penta could get come out better starting on the C side, seeing how they are a team that's probably more practiced than Epsilon. But for Epsilon's part, I think they, they really need to win the knife or they, yeah, that's definitely something they want. Well, we did start off talking about how Potentially, um, the the Epsilon team has been a little bit shaky just because there's been so much going on. FX Joe out, but then sort of was supposed to come back for DreamHack, and then he he ended up not coming back for DreamHack because the whole Epsilon team never went to DreamHack because of yeah. what happened to SF. <laughs> um, so so I th it, it must have been like a weird situation they've been through all all together. Whereas Penta um, seems to have been just maybe a little bit more stable. Well, Penta have got to be riding a little bit of a high at least, you know, having gotten top eight at DreamHack. So, granted, they had a, they had pretty much the best group going into it. Uh, they were able to make it make the cut though. They took out all my power. They got that spot in the bracket. So they've got to be feeling a bit like good. They've got to be feeling pretty good. Now the question is if they can continue kind of like upping their game as the year progresses, because going into January is when everything's going to hit the fan and you're going to have nonstop CS. So are Penta going to be one of those teams that we're going to see competing against the top? That's what we have to see tonight. They have to take this map decisively here and move on in the bracket. I hope so. I think ever since I started casting uh, Global Offensive quite a while ago now, um, I, I have been saying that we need a top German team, like an, like an old German team that just does really, really well. So um, it, it is kind of about time. It's due time that we, we see that. Whether or not it's Penta or not, it could be exciting if it was, but um, either way, we do need to see more top German players because... The actually now that we're here at the the ESL Pro League, the the German EPS scene is super strong. Like they're super active, and there's a lot of fans getting into it as well. Uh, they just need to spill out into the rest of Europe, and things will be good. I couldn't agree more, man. It's pretty much it. Experience is going to be everything here, and this is turning into a slaughter. And just like that, Penta will win the crucial knife. So there we have it. Penta are going to get that start. You know, caps lock stay. That's how excited they are. They want that CT start. They are on the advantage size. So this is going to be looking pretty good here for Penta. Now we have to see them just have a decisive pistol round. And they're going to be in a very good position here to take this best of three. 
Yes, indeed. So if you're just joining us, then welcome to the show here. It's the third map. It's uh, the ESL Pro League Winter Season 2014. I'm Anders with me, Semler. Of course, Vendetta normally will be on Room on Fire, but this uh, tournament, we're here at ESL having a good time and trying to hypnotize you as well into uh, following us on Twitter. So that's at Vendetta Go. It's at On Fire Semler and On Fire Anders. So uh, don't forget to go on Twitter and, uh, and, and you know catch us there as well. So um, in the meantime, though, the pistol round. What kind of pistol round would you like to see from, from Epsilon here to try and win it, Ven? Oh, <laughs> there's plenty of opportunities and plenty of possibilities, I should say, as to what they could go for. But hey, if you're, uh, I guess, a mixed team in a sense, be Irish, man. Be Eps. That's where it's at. Oh! YOLO B! Bomb is making its way up into B apartments! they had gone full YOLO here, then Phoenix would have been the only one with a smoke, and that just doesn't stop a push. In fact, no, they are going to slow down, because if they kept pushing, that could have been insane. Crystal is now hearing them walk right on top of him. He's going to walk up. He does not get the shot, and now Phoenix is in a world of trouble. They're all coming back up. is far away, and Felix is all alone. He goes down without taking anyone with him, and this is looking great right now for Epsilon. Yeah, Crystal has been spotted as well, so he's lost that element of surprise. Now it's just going to be, I mean, the run and gun fight here. Epsilon just trying to play the angles, trying to play it safe. Two guys on short here pushing up for Penta and two in the kitchen. But the smokes are down, and this is actually buying quite a bit of time. And look at Foxio, the flank in the kitchen, annihilates Dennis and Robson both. And Spitty's now going to be the last man alive for Penta, and it's not looking good. That one move, I mean, GMX with a triple kill, really, really good stuff from him. But I think you're right, that one move from Fox Show, getting in through the window and coming up from behind, um, that was that was just too much to handle. Yeah, solidly uh, executed by Epsilon. It's unfortunate that Crystal isn't able to pick up one of the guys coming up from short. I think that would have made a world of difference for, for Penta. And it definitely would have made Felix's job on the B-bomb side a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, that more or less sealed it, and with Epic so make you know managing to get behind all of penta that more or less just crushed it yeah and if epsilon deciding if it if it ain't broke don't try and fix it because they just go more or less for the same thing this time nobody on short they just all go up in one long group there nice headshot from felix with the deagle wanting a little bit more he's going to steal the galil and um goes for the repeat once again he's just taking rifles away and the Fox Show is not really connecting with the shots. Finally going to hit a good headshot in there and goes for the jump once more. It will be just Crystal left. And he's running away with nothing. Thought maybe he'd stolen a rifle, but no. That 5-7, man, worth its weight in gold. It seems like it, at least. That's what he's going to be holding on to here. He may have an opportunity to actually pick up a frag as well. He's waiting right around the corner. Did he get spotted? Yes, he must have. And they are going to be able to hunt him down. So no pistol saving this time around. And a very clean round there for Epsilon. There's a lot of stuff, I think, that could have gone really well for uh, for Penta in that round. But obviously, Epsilon just rushing into an empty bomb site And uh, really just uh, tough to handle. That, that B-side push is so powerful, as I think Fnatic have... Uh, made clear to all but the most ends. It's definitely very hard just to stop unless, especially when you're down on weaponry as well, then you're kind of left without too much of a hope of actually doing anything, especially with a nerfed CZ. I think a CZ or a scout that could probably do the work, for, do the job for you. Uh, well, they're getting into the bomb site pretty cleanly this time. Once again, just Fox Show uh, going down. GMX is gonna survive still. Oh, wow. How did none of them kill him? Spitty is now coming back and he'll finally land a killing blow there. But they do get two kills and I think all GMX had was a Tech 9 anyway. He's up to 7, 1 and 1 as his uh, early game kill death ratio here. So, fourth round finally coming up and Crystal will go full glass cannon AWP. I think GMX yeah. deserves some kind of achievement for actually using all the bullets in his Tech 9. What yeah, that is actually an accomplishment. Like, if you, got, if you managed to use all 32, that's pretty good. You've been alive for way too long. Achievement unlocked. There should be one. It's, a, it's actually kind of a shame that you don't get more achievement as you go along, right? In the game, you kind of just get the ones that the game is shipped out with. Yeah, that's true. Should be some uh, follow-up. Some follow-up. Yeah, right on Reddit. Reddit. If you're hearing, yeah, add more achievements. Because who doesn't like... Start know. a thread. Start a thread on Reddit, you know? <laughs> achievements to be added into the game. How long Hell can yeah. you stay on a pigeon? How many chickens can you kill in a game? Look at this. You know, Look at Ooh, Dennis. Dennis. 
this is really big. He's walking around. If he can spot out uh, GMX who's down here, that would be a big opening. But if he takes too long, and he's actually going to completely circumnavigate him. No, he's going to go back down again. GMX, if he goes down and he's supposed to be part of this push, that might just be the end here. GMX, instantly gone. And now, yes, they're boosted up into the window room, but Penta knows a lot about what's happening on the map right now. They must, especially because Robson has managed to pick off Uzi in the connector. Dennis waiting for Scream. Dennis getting a clean double kill here. So that that pretty much does it right there. Epsilon, they get canned in this round. Not a whole lot they can do, and they do even know where Biggie is as well. Up in B Apartments, he's going to make it down onto the site, but Felix is waiting on short. Instant headshot from him. Nice aim. And that's a very clean round, uh, first round by there for Penta. And a bit of a failure, I think, as well from uh, from Biggie, unfortunately, because he did kind of give away his position. I think he could have maybe done at least some damage and maybe even got like an instant headshot on, on Felix running away. So that's just how it goes down from uh, from time to time. Sometimes the easiest kills are somehow uh, the hardest ones to get as well. F a fifth round coming up, though, but a nice bounce back from Penta. Really important for them. Especially being able to hold on to their AWP for Crystal. The, him having to go last count in the first round, now he's able to buy up with armor, he can take more offensive peaks and takes out Scream as well, so that's a great start for him. And Scream dies because the smoke that was thrown by GMX did not cover the window. That is... That's really, really lethal. Oh, the headshot through Dennis! He actually managed to hit Foxio right through the, the wooden board plate there in the middle of the board that's gone up. That's incredible. A very low amount of health for him now, but they can still make it in here. Woo. And Crystal, he spots GMX going, jumping back into that apartment. He knows that there's a man there now. At this point, he has to be wondering. I think they got information that there was Uzi kind of floating around mid as well, but GMX going to look to land that headshot. Not going to do it. He manages to dodge the shot from Crystal as well, so this is really touch and go right now. But the bomb is making its way back towards A, coming on from Pit. And there's going to be Uzi there as well. So two guys going in through Pit, one through A apartments. Now Epsilon need to land the shots. Dennis waiting down on the site. He's very close. GMX will take him down, and Crystal's missing some very important shots. One more miss. Oh, he goes down. That really gives Epsilon a way right back into the map, and that's going to be the case as well. Biggie will pick up a kill. A huge failure from Panther, unfortunately, because that was definitely their round to win. Now it's all on Felix here. One on three, and unless they fight him one at a time, he should not be able to win this. Oh, and oh, Felix can't hit the headshot on GMX there. He had the he had the golden opportunity as well. It looked like he had two opportunities to land the shot, and he misses both. Pretty much, I don't know, Ven. You know, it feels like that round could be boiled down to Penta just missing crucial shots. Yeah, they couldn't have asked for a better setup to deal with that A take, really. Uh, but if your opera misses, four, I think it was four shots he yeah. missed, and that was four very doable shots. Definitely. I think that's something that Crystal normally hits. As well as, I think Dennis from Scythe there had a golden opportunity to take out GMX when GMX opted to push out from AAPS. Yeah, so they I definitely had the setup. Robson was close by in CPL to potentially back up Crystal as well, but if you don't hit your shots, it's kind of hard to kill people. I think <laughs> on, on rounds like those... It's really, yeah, that's when it becomes really hard trying to get the team morale back up again because there's nothing that you can point to to say, oh, you know, this was, you know, like a lucky thing for them. I mean, it's just, well, everyone just had like a serial fail moment where nobody could connect with any of the shots, even though we had been given this, this almost perfect opportunity as a result of GMX actually failing the smoke in the middle, which instantly got Scream killed. Um, it, it just completely unraveled for them as soon as they they couldn't hit the shots so some sort of pause going on and i'm guessing we'll be live soon enough but that has that's a big swing in favor of epsilon i think that was going to be the uh, the equalizing moment when epsilon would actually have had to have eco probably and it would have been we could have seen you know a, a 3-3 scoreline pretty quickly yeah and then we, we might have seen a similar run to what epsilon had on their ct side for penta here on mirage instead epsilon barring some catastrophic anti-eco setups they should be able to get this upcoming round because as you said this ruins everything for penta they're completely broke so they're gonna have to eco and they're not even gonna get the greatest of buys in the upcoming round so they're in a really really yeah uneasy situation especially being on the ct side which is what's the most favored side on this map so i think epsilon definitely has the opportunity to just close this game out pretty quickly and that's a scary thought if you're Penta, especially coming off a round where you've just missed a lot of easy shots. Yeah, I 
I think that is that's that's also why it's it's so hard to mentally get back in the game after you have a round like that because you need you need a, a sort of an opposite type of round. You need a round where you win an eco round or one guy gets an ace or you know, anything like that. You need a, a, a really a, a, a counter big round. Play. Where you, yeah, you swing it back. Yeah, a big play to boost morale and. Well, I guess the pause here in this case could potentially work out well for Penta. They could simmer down. They can get back to being in a focused state of mind. Or this could be something that lingers on them. They'll, they'll think to themselves that, oh, I just want to you know, get back to playing because I know I messed up the second round and you know, or the previous round and I want to redeem myself, that type of thing. So it'll be interesting to see what happens now that we're going back live. We are getting into it. Sixth round is coming up here. Epsilon could uh, have just set themselves on a really good course to uh, to take a, a big lead in this game. Just a couple of pistols on the Penta side. Yeah, I think that's that's nearly near. Smart choice. Yeah, smart choice. Eco, hold on to what you can here. Get get what you can. I mean, you have invested a little bit in this round. A couple of nades picked up. Five seven on Spitty. So maybe they can do some damage to Epsilon, but. It's looking really rough here for Penta, especially after such a good first buy round. After a, such a strong fourth round, you're thinking, okay, Penta, they've got what it takes. They can actually turn this around. It's going to go according to plan, and then it just doesn't happen. Bit of a like worrying, oh, sorry, no, a bit of a worrying sign for Epsilon actually uh, is the fact that again they missed the mid smoke. So whoever's throwing that smoke for Epsilon does not really know what they're doing at this point. Well, I and think it's GMX the last couple of rounds, so we can try to see if it's uh, if it's him doing it again. Because you're right, that is that's something we should be looking out for. Yeah, if Crystal, well, Crystal does have his hands on an op, so if he gets the opportunity to roam around freely in mid, that's going to make it really tough for the Frenchman to actually take control over mid. Are they going to rush B? That would be so dirty. Yeah, they're, they're certainly making the noise here. Robson is hearing it as well. Felix down towards the truck. Robson not connecting, and Felix is just serial flashed in this corner. Now, finally, you can see what's going on. Robson is there to get the one kill. The bomb drops in. Backup is being called for, but Fox Show will connect. Felix still hiding here, and finally, they're going to get a couple of kills going in their direction, and they desperately need it. They can't lose this round. Biggie just killed Foxio as well. That certainly oh. did not help. How, I didn't even catch that. I yeah, I think he Fox. just shot Foxio in the back of the head, so that's uh, that's a bit awkward when you're trying to manage to, I mean, when you're trying to bring it back, when you're trying to actually, you know, put up a fight, because Fox and Biggie still had some HP, but I think Biggie, you know, Fox got tapped, and then Biggie kind of jumped in <laughs> on it, and yeah. That... Tag teamed with one of the Penta members. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's just a stand-in, guys. Yeah. He has uh, no maybe he's, that Yeah, he's he is a mercenary. <laughs> That's exactly it, man. Uh, but it looked initially very well, or very good for Epsilon there. They kind of looked to commit heavily towards the B-bomb side, but only one of the Epsilon members actually dropped out of apartments. And at a certain point where Penta had made their entire rotation, you had one guy already up on short, you had... Um, the rest of the Penta members, either on the B-bomb site or in Kitchen, you still had four players from Epsilon inside of B-apps. That, that you can't do that. What made their pistol round so effective was the fact that they actually got out onto the site and didn't hang around in apps for too long. So they're actually able to get some map control and set up for a somewhat decent after plan. They didn't do any of that this round after having an initially pretty strong push and actually getting an early kill onto, I think it was Robson. So if they push out earlier, and if they ever try that again, I think they could be a lot more successful than what they were. Oh, well, we'll see if they have the uh, the nerve to do it once again. And we're going to try and see if we can track this mid smoke if it's ever going to go up. Last time they didn't really need it because they were going to rush anyway, but um, see if they are able to do it. GMX is certainly setting up for it, and I think he's going to be the one on the job. So yeah, I think it's been him the last couple of times as well. So we'll 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 keep an eye on him. Well, he's certainly taking his time. He's focused. Really focused. He's like psyching up himself right now because he's missed two times in a row. Yeah, I feel you, GMX. Got a... Or maybe he's admiring he the architecture. Timed out? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, Could oh, no. that be it? It's, no. the, uh, oh, no. it's the attack. Oh, well, okay. He just well, threw it into a, the wall. That's a thing. That's definitely... I mean, that's maybe the most failed mid smoke I've ever seen. <laughs> I've... I think that's as far away as you can personally get. The pressure got to him. The pr yeah. He didn't even get it over the wall this time. We then did, what are you we, doing to him? 
we did put a lot of pressure on. Sorry, DMX, that was never meant to be the case, but... <laughs> oh, that was definitely odd to watch. Well, I guess... Scream's gonna try his luck versus Crystal in mid there. Doesn't quite work out as he gets taken out. I think so is still in a position where he could potentially pick off Crystal if he... Or Uzi is the guy actually seeing how FX or Foxio got taken out as well. This is falling apart for Epsilon. Yeah, it definitely is. Seems like a really weird round. I'm, I, it still feels like there's some sort of issue going on because they're just kind of all walking in one at a time. Uh, not really doing too much. Uzi is uh, somewhere over at, uh, at the middle of the map and Biggie's uh, single-handedly pushing into B or trying to at least. Uh, the, I'm not really sure what happened that round, but that was just a, a sequence of weird, weird things coming out from Epsilon. Yeah, um, I think we're going to have to assume that probably someone of Epsilon got timed out, and we, guess, we can pretty guess that it was GMX. Um, yeah, yeah unfortunately. If, if I was GMX, I would use that excuse at least. <laughs> Say it wasn't uh, my fault. It doesn't look like we're going to be wasting any time here. It looks like they're just going to keep going. So well, Let's see this time, though. I mean, double tech nine. Magical things are possible here. Boxio picks up Crystal as well. This is looking pretty good here for Epsilon. Yeah. GMX misses again. So It's not cool. Robson, though, they are going to actually have to commit a second smoke to just making sure that window shut down. But Foxio is creating all sorts of openings. Dennis waiting right here is going to catch Uzi, and they got to be careful of Robson in here. Scream's trying to get in. Dennis picks up the second kill on Foxio. He's actually bringing it back in Penta's favor, and Robson's going to come up from behind, takes down Biggie, and will go down to Scream. So now it's a two-on-two. -two. Felix should be able to come in here and help out. That flash not going to connect, and Dennis is very low on health. That's a nice running headshot. Yeah, right through the edge of the wall, too. That certainly didn't help things there for Epsilon, or rather for Penta. Now it's going to be a question of Felix, who's working his way in through CT spawn. He's going to be able to take a bit of a fight with GMX. But Epsilon, they just have to buy time right now. They have to try and play the bomb, not expose themselves here. Dennis is slowly working his way out, but Scream has got the op. Is Scream going to land the shot? He's almost showing himself. Dennis is right here. Scream sees it. Oh, and it's a shot for the box. Scream survives on two health with a triple kill. That is about as close as it can get. And we're at 3-6, and Penta, uh, I think, well, one team is going to ask for a pause anyway. That is, that's such a, you know, an immense round. Again, Epsilon just coming out on top. Yeah, and I think a lot of that round came down to, even though Scream got picked up three kills, I think Foxio was the leading man. He was the MVP of that round for Epsilon. Epsilon messed up the smoke once again, making it harder to actually get control over mid, but luckily for them, they have... A pretty good offer on their side, and he managed to pick up the, those two entry frags, and that created all sorts of rotations from Penta that Epsilon were able to take advantage of in the end. Oh, man. Yeah, apparently they are having some uh, some DDoSing issues still, so we're trying to work around that, see if we can't uh, come up with a good solution for it, but um, currently... Yes? Okay, my mic hasn't been working for the past couple of minutes. Nice, dude. Nice. Good times. Good times. <laughs> no, I just, I mean, the big point here is that Scream is indestructible. He can't die, but he should only be allowed to have that like once a map or it gets OP. So if he has another round where he lives with like two or three HP, we're going to have to call in somebody here and like get him checked out. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. I think, I think the, the deciding moment in this first half so far in Mirage is still that one round where Crystal missed all those shots and I think Dennis or Spitty or whatever it was who was in the A bombs I also missed a big ben opportunity. Dennis. Yeah, I think I think for them to recover from that situation is gonna be so immensely difficult. It could definitely come back to haunt them, for sure. Epsilon being on six rounds already and well, looking at the money for Penta it's not not the best. The Epsilon are in a prime position to uh, to put immense pressure on the Germans. I don't really see a way they can come back to it unless Epsilon keep making some slow mistakes. I, I mean, I'm assuming they're going to be able to adjust and actually land that smoke eventually in mid and, you know, be able to work, take over mid control and keep working on what's been going well for them so far. And that's going to make it all the worse for Penta, especially when they're not hitting easy shots that they should be hitting. 
Yeah, just a quick uh, service announcement as well in case you are just joining us and wondering what's going on. We're just uh, having a bit of a uh, pausing issue here at the beginning of the third map. But after this, we do also have Navi playing ESC in a second best of three of the evening, which actually could be a very interesting game. ESC have been playing uh, better and better, it feels like. So so we'll follow up on that as well. Don't, uh, yeah, don't think, panic. I think that's going to be a fun, fun map. Uh, I'm assuming they haven't done the veto, etc. yet, so we don't know the maps. No, I don't think we do just yet. I think they're still waiting. Yeah, it'll happen right, right before the match starts. All right. Well, in any case, it should be a good match. Yes, he was also one of the teams that attended DreamHack winner. And uh, even though they didn't get that far, they definitely had a good showing. Hell, they nearly took down Nip. Yeah, they, they made Nip sweat. I mean, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Considering, you know, they, those guys got into the finals, so you were able to take it. Uh, take it to one of the top two teams of the whole event. That's not a bad showing at all, actually. I was pleasantly impressed. Yeah, so it definitely should be uh, fun to see. And um, it's always fun to see Navi play. I feel like we don't get to see Navi play nearly enough. No, I agree. They are a, they're an intriguing team, especially on the terrorist side. And, um, you know, we need to keep an eye on how well Guardian is doing. And, you know, if, has he been playing too much Dota? Or is it now turned into World of Warcraft like everyone else? Not mentioning any names here in this circle. <laughs> I have no idea what you're insinuating, but I'll, I'll let it slide for now. Yeah, you better not. You better <laughs> not. World of Warcraft, man. I think even Lopez was tweeting about that, wasn't he? Yeah, but I'm not preparing for a major. That's my excuse. All right. I and MVK guess... did win the major, so. Yeah, but yeah. would he would he have won it twice as much, if that's even a thing? <laughs> That's a good Double question. Lunch. Double the prize money if it didn't buy WoW? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they would have <laughs> actually seen that boost on uh, on Overpass if they hadn't been playing World of Warcraft. Who knows? There's a chance. Well, Epsilon are keeping it cool. They're being uh, gentlemen and saying that they are they are sorry that Penta is going to have to wait. Uh, we're sorry as well, but we can't. It's hard really, you know. I think Epsilon they'd say they had a VPN solution going on, and apparently that didn't work. So they at least tried to. Uh, to protect themselves it just hasn't been successful just yet we shall see we shall see yeah for the time being i guess we can try to figure out what penta could potentially do to get back into this because they're most likely unless they do something they've done actually on the two first maps which is in a situation like this they would get an op on crystal and then get whatever rifles or pistols they can get on the rest of them and go from there it's gonna be interesting to see whether or not they offer a play like that because that could either bring them back into the match or just lose them the first half outright so i'm curious to see what penta decides to do and they need to do something differently because they've clearly not had a good grasp of what epsilon are doing i would really like to see crystal opening middle but very defensively i don't want to see him like taking too long fights with fuck show just like trying to even pick up someone at the corner when they come out if not then forget about it yeah. yeah you know just take it slow then i'd i'd love to see uh some pretty aggressive movement either in the middle with crystal opening in the background where you know you have crystal opening and then a couple of people push out and try and see if they can get closer and maybe even grenade or flash someone in or they do something similar uh over at a apartments maybe yeah, I was thinking the in the same line of thought as you. Uh, the one round we saw Dennis pushing aggressively into EFs, that worked out splendidly for them. He, you know, managed to pick up GMX and more or less gave away the entire game plan that Epsilon had for that round. So maybe aggression is the answer, although on other parts of the map than mid, because Crystal has been doing a good job of getting the initial picks in mid whenever Epsilon opt to challenge. So if you can just leave it at that, be happy with the fact that you got the entry frag, and then leave the aggression to everyone else on the map. Yeah, and then the one thing I'd really love it is if they prepared every round on the B-bomb side as if though it was going to be rushed down by Epsilon. I think that they can't afford to lose. Like that, That's such an easy way to lose a round. If you just for a single round think, oh, I'm just going to you know be alone over here and I'm going to put up a smoke and jump up on the truck and then... By the time you realize, oh wait, they're coming through the smoke, you're already on the truck, and you're definitely going to be dead no matter what happens. So, mm, yeah, yeah. got to got to prepare a little bit more. Just pretend they're always doing it and line up accordingly. Yeah. How about you, Sam? Do you see any way that, or do you see any solutions to the current penta problems? 
new mouse. DDoS Epsilon? No, man. You know, get get a new mouse, maybe. Maybe the mouse oh, mat's feeling a little oh, wow. sticky. You know? At first, I thought, I thought it was a... Maybe it was a cheeky reference? Ben. Could have ben, been. Come on. Could have been. Are you German, I don't know. right? I, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not even going to start that. <laughs> neither am I. Neither I'm going to start stay as neither far away as possible. Neither am I. So, now, Penta... It's... I mean, we've seen... Okay, well, it feels like it's just been a couple of really rough runs. The one round, Crystal unfortunately misses four shots, so that can't happen, right? You need to land your shots if you're going to do anything at all in the game. And then another crucial round, the last one, Scream lives with three HP. So, man, you know, it feels like these are coming down to such close rounds, and Penta, there's not a, like, there's no go-to thing. It's really just like, land your damn shots. Come on. There you go, Dennis. You take out Foxio, at least. Does some damage as well. Unfortunately, Crystal with the AWP is pretty far away from the action. Finally going to show up. Maybe one second too late. He can't connect with it, and things are not looking good for Penta. They did invest into a crazy orb solution, and they are now going to have to instead be damn sure this, this AWP survives. They cannot let go of it. <laughs> Boxio finally realizing that something has been changed. About to seize that. Oh man. Yeah, it's still just as good, right? <laughs> uh, I think the the new gun that everyone's going to be raving about is the Tech 9. Really? Probably. Yeah. That's going to be the new horror story of uh, CTs. Is it the fact that it does a billion damage and that there's 32 bullets in the mag? And they actually buffed it? <laughs> like once more? It's going to be you know, fun to see how that plays out, but it, it's a really strong pistol from, from the get-go. And then... But I'm wondering how long it's going to take for teams to to pick, start picking up that pistol. You can see Uzi and GMX are already, already using it. GMX with great success so far in this game. Yeah, it has a lot of potential. Crystal in the middle. No smoke being put up. And as a result, he's going to be feeling brave. And there's four people waiting for him. He needs some backup if this is going to work out. He's going to go and look for the pass. He definitely needs more people here in the middle. Okay, Robson, this is scary. They're coming up behind him. Crystal, he hits one shot and gets the kills home. Oh my god, that's a way to start. Okay, I was about to say, you know, Robson has total faith in Crystal right now to keep him alive yeah. with how he was playing, just looking in underpass. It's all on Crystal to, to keep Epsilon from rushing him down. And then Crystal just like one-ups all of us and gets two two guys with one shot. Okay then, Crystal. I know we've been knocking you a little bit for, the, for that one round where you missed a bunch. Okay, you made up for it there. <laughs> it's kind of like, well, if you're not hitting all, you know, that many shots, you make sure that the ones you hit are as effective as possible. <laughs> right? German efficiency. Damn right. Smoke goes off, a classic smoke to try and get into the B bomb site. Make sure no one can uh, easily pick you off as you run out to the balcony and just jump in. But Penta have so many people here and waiting. This is not going to be easy for uh, Epsilon. Uzi does pick up the good opening kill, but Speedy is not quite flashed and he's waiting in a strong position. Scream will get a kill. Oh, and Speedy almost picks up two, but somehow Epsilon are in the sight at even numbers and are getting the bomb down. I have no idea how this happened because Penta once again should have had such a big opportunity to do this and they might lose this round. Well, let's not count them out quite yet. We're into a one-on-one -on -one now. Scream and Crystal going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Crystal not going to be able to spot Scream out fast enough there. Scream just standing right behind Van. Finds the instant headshot. Of course, it's Scream. Uh, that is definitely a very odd situation there that we just saw. Ex extremely sloppy, unfortunately, for uh, for Penta. That's They had the perfect read. They saw the smokes going in. They had three people... One of them boosted up on the box here or looking over that one. One on truck and then one up by catwalk and all of them should have been able to... That's basically walking into a triple crossfire if you're Epsilon and more were coming in as well. So that's there's almost no way they should be able to lose that round and somehow they did anyway. I'm just amazed we didn't see any shooting through the smoke into the apartments because it seemed like they were in the perfect position to do just that and that would have been a total slaughter. But they tried to play it safe, Penta. They tried to wait until they saw the whites of their eyes and, well... Those, those whites were shot through with red anders. It wasn't a pretty sight. It was the last thing they saw. Yeah, man. That was that was painful. Now, 9-6 is the absolute best that Penta can do. But honestly, it feels like they never recovered from that fourth round. They just 
they haven't been playing anywhere near what we saw them play, or even on even on cash and, uh, and dust too, especially maybe. But even on cash, they were hitting better shots. They just ended up losing a lot of entry frags on that map. Here, it feels like even when they're in a perfect position to do it, they're just not connecting at this point. Yeah, the struggle. It is a very difficult struggle right now that they've got on their hands. And now I'm curious to see if they're going to try and push into T pit at all here. Interesting hold here from Dennis. He's focusing more on apartments. He's got to watch his back, but a fresh smoke is going to be able to stop Epsilon from pushing through immediately here. Or is the YOLO real? Yes, it is. Flash leads away. Great flash. In fact, Dennis totally blind, but he's still getting a kill. Totally blind, and he still manages to pick up one. And another situation here that they should not be able to lose. This is a, well, was a 2 on 3 now. It's a 2 on 2 Are they going to challenge once more? They got to wait and just see if they can't group up properly here. Fox, you up in the apartments. Bomb has gone down and Biggie's holding inside here. Fox is going to miss the shot and they're going to try and re-peek him here. He misses or he fakes it out once and actually forces the shot. Biggie goes down. Fox up here. They don't have a grenade to try and force him out. And there's one in sight and there's one just trying to cover the entrance here. Crystal takes a quick peek. Foxy gets the shot home. Now it's a triple. He needs one more for the quad and he's going to get it and Epsilon win the round in spite of Penta being on a pretty big advantage once again. Uh, everything Penta is doing, they're setting themselves up really nice mid-round and or yeah, midway through the round because these are pretty quick rounds and everything just is just slipping through their hands right now. Every, they can't do a single thing right, unfortunately, for them. See, this is that moment when I wish there was t there were like sprays in the game, because that is definitely a spray moment where Fox should have been like jumping down on their corpses, getting a spray tag down, like maybe a French baguette or something. <laughs> well, he's definitely keeping up with the you know bringing the heat to the Germans right about now. Three kills already in this round, and this is going to be so hard for Penta to actually retag. Now they're actually in an unfavorable position for once. So maybe there's that that's what they need to actually bring it back. <laughs> They're certainly feeling like uh, you know it's a good idea to try and go for this. Not so sure, but um, nice shot from Felix. Right at the edge of the smoke here. Biggie's got to be careful he doesn't stand up into that shot. But either way, they're running out of time. And I don't think they can actually win this round any longer. They can try, but um, they don't have a defuse kit. So too much time has already passed on the bomb. They do a better job than they did previously when they had the men advantage. So I guess that Progress. is something. Yeah. And uh, from the looks of it, Epsilon are gonna gonna have to pause again. So it seems like I think it's Uzi who's having issues here with his connection. But it doesn't seem to affect them that much, though, seeing how they're up eleven to three on the less favored side. Man, I am curious. Now all I have an image of is like a baguette with the scope on it. You know, <laughs> like that would be perfect for all the French operas, like Smiths, Foxio. I just, I just, and it's always pretty hard. I mean, this is, Penta isn't the first team that we've seen this happen to, and it, it's obviously going to happen again and again and again, but it's so, it's so hard emotionally even to watch a team like this where you, you know that they've just been playing so well, and you can kind of even track the one moment in time when it, when it all falls apart for them, and then they just can't get up again. Um, they've just been tumbling ever since, basically, Penta, and Epsilon are really feeling it. They're just rushing into the, the B bomb site through Catwalk, and. They have a great opportunity at their hands here. Bit of the YOLO play coming out here, but GMX is going to be able to get into Kitchen fairly quickly there. Flank Dennis, and now it is going to come down to Robson. He does take out GMX, so they do have a chance. Biggie coming in close, though, finds the right angle and hits it perfectly. 12-3 finish here at the end of the first half. Penta, they've got to be reeling now going into the second. This is going to be brutal. Are we seeing cash all over again here? No, this is this is it's very like a very reverse. different. It's a this reverse is, cash. Yeah, no, in my mind, this is very 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 different. Uh, cash was in large part won by Epsilon getting some really good entry frags, and then making some good mid round calls that that left Epsilon in a, in a position where it was hard for them to win it. And then Epsilon also just won some very key rounds. This really feels like that one round where all those missed shots on the A bomb site. They've had way too many of those where they get into a great position, and it's not even that Epsilon are doing anything sort of super insane to bring it back. Epsilon just, or sorry, Penta just are not connecting with the shots. And at a very basic level, it doesn't matter how good a position you're in, if you can't kill the people coming into you, then that's pretty much it. Now, charging through Uzi in a perfect position. See, that's very cool. Double kill like that, and GMX is going to take down Speedy as well. And Penta just continuously being shot out. But this was a very cool round from Epsilon. Great positional play from Uzi. 
Uh, it's gonna come down to Robson basically, fully committing to the murder hole. Not even gonna pick up a frag. Scream somehow lives through that. So Epsilon, there we go. Perfect setup now for them to take this map, take this series. This is the third map of this best of three. So Epsilon now, perfect position for them. Three rounds away. And what do Penta do? They go for the force. They go for the force. Why not? I mean... I, well... Hmm. Yeah, what, I guess if you I, can manage it. What are you going to do at this point? Even if you if you save, are you going to find your way back? You go for an early buy, an early Galil buy? I think you give yourself a better chance to win it if you actually wait one more round. But something tells me that the mindset of Penta is not where it should be as of right now. Yeah, yeah. I can't help but agree here. They are pretty feeling a little bit uh, overpowered, though. Good shot from Felix. Tech 9 power all the way. And Dennis is going to defeat Scream over at the A ramp as well. But overall, it is going to be a 14th round here for Epsilon. One on three situation for Dennis. He's going to fall on top of the toll booth as well. It's a nice place to sit and rest for a while. We'll be now 14 to 3 in, in a very powerful display from, from Epsilon. Just uh, given the opportunity, they did not let it go. No, they took the advantage and just ran with it. They haven't looked back since the pistol round, pretty much. Should we say Fox ran with it? Fox yeah. has definitely been a, uh, the leading man for them. Uh, especially on the T side, obviously. Getting entry frags left and right, and especially opening up the middle when uh, Absalom weren't able to set up the way they wanted to. They do get a bit of a charge on through here. Robson, CZ75 is waiting, and GMX... Last man standing, he gets a blind shot onto Dennis, but Penta will at least win the round. Now they just have another 10 to go before they equalize the score. Of course it could be done. Of course Epsilon can be brought to uh, to the same state of mind as Penta was in the first half, but it is going to take uh, a bit of a miracle and even then some. It's going to be a pretty mind-blowing performance if, if Penta can do the same. Well, let's see. I mean... Not much of a buy here from Epsilon. I like this. They're not. They don't. They don't rush things. They don't feel like they need to go for it. They've got so many rounds to play with, so they're willing to give Penta a little bit of a, a lead on the rope. The question is, can Penta actually get through this round unscathed? It's looking like they have a bit of the same thing in mind here. Just going straight up through connector towards this A site now. They have to realize that Foxio is holding close. They're trying to bait, and Fox up close is going to take out Spitty. Not going to hit the second, but he stays alive, and that's the important part. And the rush from underpass didn't actually kill anyone, but they did a lot of damage to Robson and Felix, so it was kind of successful anyway. Now the bomb is dropped here, and Penta, after just giving themselves a bit of a chance, they actually get surprised by Epsilon. So I love the fact that Epsilon did that. That that sandwich from, from a bomb site and underpass was uh, really, really cool. Now it's just down to screen, though, and they have the bomb, and they should be, and they are running away indeed. Yeah, nicely done there. He's going to be able to back off Felix. He's got that bomb. He's got 4 HP, so I hope that he is careful when he comes jumping out of B apartments. But it'd be a real shame if something were to happen to him. There we go. Nice, clean. I don't think you can actually die jumping from B apartments, but if you were to try and jump down into underpass from short, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> well, I guess it would be the topping on the kick, right? For, for Penta with how things have gone. Oh, Crystal. Spot scream, and that is going to be the kill, so... They hold on to the round, only just barely. Could have definitely gone Epsilon's way. Now the Frenchmen are back on rifles once more here. Biggie could probably drop an AWP for somebody if he wanted to, but he's going to he's gonna stay alive for a little bit, and uh, he wants the, the armor as well, so that's fair enough. He is at the bottom of the scoreboard, so I guess if someone had to not have body armor, don't want it to be Biggie. Well, it could be the sacrificial lamb, right? Well, they could. They could go for it. Just, uh... Say that's it, you're out. We'll send we you up scouting. You anymore. <laughs> GMX oh, boosted up on the box there towards Catwalk. He's going to take down Felix for a nice entry frag for Epsilon. And Foxio, he's darting around down in the smoke, just looking for another pass, not spotting anyone. Dennis gets the shot. And the follow-up with the Tech-9 as well. So they at least return the kill, which is good news for Penta. More of that and a lot more of it. Right now... Penta are in a very promising position to actually take that A-bomb site. Biggie, though, bit of a ballsy player here, actually. This could work out either really well for him or really poorly, depending on what Robson and Crystal decide to do here. It's just like they wanted to boost up, but 
thought better of it. That's that's kind of awkward. <laughs> and now he's trapped as well. Grenade in once. They do have a follow up on Spitty, but he's not really close by, so they're gonna have to do something else. Robson eventually goes down, but they take Scream in the bomb sign, and that should be a big opening. Another return kill here. It's a two on two. Dennis will miss the shot, but then Spitty's there finally to help out. Leaving it all up to GMX here, the top fragger, and they are going to walk right in front of him. Speedy or Speedy with the triple. And it's a double kill for Dennis, so 14 to 6. And should be another eco round coming up from Epsilon, and seems like that's what they're going to do as well. Again, playing the playing the time card. They still have eight rounds separating them from uh, Penta. So there's still some room for error here. No real reason for them to go rushing in. I'm kind of like. Would Epsilon, you know, granted, okay, they go ahead and invest in some PT50s here, but I would actually love to see them go for some aggression all out, you know, like up into AAPs, rushing into T-Pit, that sort of thing. Right now, the uh, push is on towards the A-bomb site and almost uh, losing a couple of players too many then. The AWP has been picked up as well on Fox Show, and that's always bad news whenever that happens, but he is fighting against three people. And they are just going to overpower him at the end. Felix with the triple this time around, and it's 14 to 7. It's starting to look a little bit better for Penta, but I mean, that if there is any line at the head at the end of the tunnel, it's really far away, and it's a really long tunnel, so I don't know. It, it is just one slip up that they need to make here, and Epsilon will probably win the map. Yeah, they can't afford to make any mistakes at all. And, uh,. Well, FXO, as you said, he's uh, dangerous to others when he has the off, and he's got it picked up in mid now, and he might be able to pick up Dennis. Oh, he spots me connector. Foxio still has the shot first. Dennis not going to be able to return, so that's that's a bit awkward, and then he gets baited out into the middle. GMX was holding on short, looking towards top mid. So Fox was the bait, GMX was the hammer, and he just dropped it right down. Pick up the following kill as well and scream with the double. It's just speedy left. He gets a great kill through the smoke onto Biggie, but it's probably not going to be anywhere near enough. A follow up grenade as well, but Fox will take him down eventually. And that's a match and map point right here for Epsilon. 15 to 7. So now it's eight straight rounds in a row for Penta to force overtime. That's what's on their plate right now. That's more than uh, the amount of rounds that, uh, that Epsilon managed to put together. Their longest streak on the first half was seven rounds. So uh, they're going to have to do even better than that. It's going to be really tough to do with the weapon they have as well. I think Crystal needs to come up big with that off for them. Oh no, it's happening again. The smoke is actually keeping my camera locked in for no reason at all. Alright, so, well uh, Fox picked up Spitty from Connector. Two guys pushing in towards Connector again. Penta just going for the tried and true straight up mid. And they're actually going to find Fox Yo. But Scream does manage to return from Shadow, and now all of a sudden it's going to spin out of control. Robson and Crystal, last two guys alive here, trying to force their way onto this A-site. Crystal turns it into a 1v2. Uh, he's standing on Electric. He's just right next to the bomb, so he can't pick it up, but he's looking to win this game. He wants to find that frag and turn this into a 1v1. Yeah, camera's back in action again, so um, that's good news. Crystal now, with the bomb down, is going to be peeking over towards Jungle, and he misses the shot on Uzi. He's being stabbed in the back as well. He realizes in time he gets the shot, turns it around for a second. Now Uzi knows. Crystal goes down anyway, and that is the game. Oh, what a what a crazy one-on-two uh, situation there from Crystal. That could have almost been one. What, what a, a shot. That was sick. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. It will be Epsilon picking it up in a 2-1 fashion, and they end up winning the last two maps here on Cash and on Mirage. So uh, if we just uh, go over and take a look at the actual uh, heat map, just see what's going on. Of course, we do have another best of three coming up for everyone, so uh, it isn't over for tonight. There's still more, and it's uh, Navi and ESC playing in the next one. So it should still be pretty exciting. Scream still rocking the highest uh, headshot percentage at the end of the game. And, um, yeah, second half wasn't as long, so it's kind of hard to look at the heat map from that one. But uh, certainly, uh, on the first half, Epsilon ended up being pretty much all over the map. Um, not, not many places they didn't go on that first half. So, um, impressive performance from them. That's going to bring them to a victory. And it is also going to bring us to a break. Um, so, I'm not sure how long. I think uh, it's actually supposed to start five minutes ago. So, we'll just yeah. have a five-minute break, guys, to get into the new server. And then we'll be good to go. So, uh, stay with us, and we will be right back. Thank <laughs> you.